Hey, what's up guys? Today's quick fix is for your One X Player 2 and we're gonna be looking at updating your BIOS. We're gonna to update to BIOS 1.06. I'm gonna take you through this step-by-step. Step. I'll show you what software you're gonna need. I'll show you how to prepare your USB as well as the actual process of updating the BIOS. I recommend opening the links that I've left in the video description so you can follow along a little bit more closely. Okay, let's dive into it. So the one thing that we're going to need is a flash drive. You need at least eight gigabytes. The one I've got here is 128 gigabytes, so it's a little bit overkill, but uh, it's just what I have. So first thing, we're gonna grab the BIOS update. So I've left the link in the video description, but we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to One X Player 2. And then we're gonna click on the BIOS download. So click this, it'll give you a bit of a change log. You can review that if you'd like, and just click on the link. Once you've got it downloaded, you can go ahead and go to your downloads folder and we're going to go ahead and unzip it. If you don't have any software to unzip this, go ahead and check the video description. I've left a link for 7-zip. Now that we've unzipped it, we can take a look at the instructions from one netbook. So there's a five step guide. I recommend pausing the video or saving this to another device so you can reference it as we go through this. It'll be helpful to also be able to read what I'm showing you. So our first step is to format our flash drive to FAT32. I've left a link in the video description for a program that can do this really quickly for you. One word of caution is to make sure that you select the right drive, so make sure that you verify the letter that has been assigned to your flash drive. Once you've confirmed you have the right drive, you need to make sure that you change the name to WINPE, all capital. Now you can just press start to format, it should be almost immediate. Now that we've got our flash drive ready, we're going to go ahead and grab the BIOS file that we extracted, and we're going to place those at the root level of the USB. Now that our flash drive is ready to go, we're going to leave the flash drive inserted, and we're going to unplug any other accessories, and we're also going to connect to power. Make sure that you also have at least 50% battery before you try the BIOS update. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot my system, and we're going to enter into BIOS. To enter into BIOS, we're going to hold the turbo button while it reboots, and it should go straight to the boot menu. To navigate this menu, you need to enable mouse mode, and then you just need to go down to our USB and then press the start button. After a few seconds, the BIOS will begin to install and you just need to press the start key to continue. After this, it's gonna take a few minutes to install the BIOS and EC, so be patient, don't turn it off, and don't touch anything. Just let it go through the process and it will automatically shut down after. This process takes a few minutes. I have it sped up 50 times, but it actually took about six minutes for me for it to complete. Once it's done, it's going to shut itself down. Don't worry, this is entirely normal. Don't be freaked out. Our next step is to disconnect power and we need to wait 30 seconds before we turn it on. Now I'm gonna skip ahead, but make sure you wait 30 seconds. Now that our 30 seconds has passed, we can go ahead and remove our flash drive, hopefully smoother than I'm doing here. And we can go ahead and press the power button. So uh, it's not doing anything. Uh, Man, did I just brick my device for you guys? Well, shit. Well, I'm just messing with you. It actually takes about 30 seconds before you're gonna see anything. You'll probably hear this fan spinning right now. And after about 30 seconds, your lights will turn on on the controllers. And you're still not gonna see anything. So just wait, it takes about another minute. Be patient. I need to stress this and I'm letting this part of the video run on because it really is important. Do not touch the power button. Do not try to reboot it. It will be fine. Just let it go for a couple of minutes. And speak of the devil, there's the lights. So it took about another minute, maybe two minutes before that showed up on screen. So I'm not going to make you guys wait through that. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. Would you look at that? We didn't brick our device and we've got the new BIOS. So we're going to let Windows start up here just to make sure. And there we go we successfully updated our BIOS. And now we can get back to Pepe Pig. I hope this video is helpful, and if you want to be helpful, leave me a like, subscribe, or maybe check out one of these other two videos. Thanks for watching.